Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. Girl, we have to talk about the Super Bowl, about the halftime show, Usher, Justin Bieber. So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Sebastian, and I spill pop culture tea every day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. All right, best friend. So first of all, let's just jump into it, girl, because the halftime show, Usher, Usher, okay? Usher, Usher. Now listen. I know the hits, right? Like, I'm not an Usher. I wouldn't call myself an Usher fanatic. I don't, you know, I'm not going into his discography and knowing every song. But I know the hits, you know? I know the hits. And listen, he did not disappoint. Um, Alicia Keys, um, uh, Lil Jon, uh, Her, um, uh, Will I Am. I, I'm sure I'm forgetting someone on the spot, but they they were amazing. I mean, it was a really good show. The fact that he was singing live, that he was roller skating, that he looked phenomenal. He didn't miss a beat was amazing, okay? But of course, believers are really mad that Justin Bieber did not go. And I was like, girl, I was like waiting on the edge of my seat because I was like, the poor believers. I was like, these believers must be pacing around their house, screaming, frantically eating Pringles and like just honestly just going cray cray. Because, you know, listen, you know, you have guys been wanting you know, Justin back. So I get it, girl. You know what I mean? And I was, I was, I was fully prepared to like, okay, girl, I'm, I'm going to start hearing screams from all over the place because you know, the believers are everywhere, bitch. You know, so I was just like, okay, if Justin goes on, on, on screen, it's going to go, it, it's, it's, it's going to go insane, bitch. It's going to go bananas. Like Gwen Stefani said in Hollaback, girl, this shit is bananas. B A N A N A N S. So, anyways, girl, the 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 halftime show coming it came and gone, and Justin Bieber, girl, he was not present. So, I just want to formally say, best friend, if you or anyone you know is an is a believer, please take a second and reach out to them. Make sure you lend a friendly hello, a wishful wish, a hopeful comment, and embrace them if you can in person and give them a big hug because best friend <laughs> the comments i'm seeing people are devastated listen this this could have been justin's big comeback but ever since i saw him walk up in, in into the stadium with Haley bieber and sitting down i knew he was not going to perform take a look at this all right, best friend. So Justin Bieber and Haley Bieber have officially arrived at the Super Bowl. And girl, listen, I don't think this is the energy of somebody who's about to take the stage. But listen, girl, I know there's been so many rumors. All the believers are in the edge of their seats, girl. If you know a believer, please reach out to them, girl, because I'm sure they are they are right now on pins and needles because the halftime show is about to begin. So please pray for a believer, girl. But yes, this is Justin and Haley arriving at today's game. Um, listen, the rumors were that he was supposed to be hitting the stage. But I feel like with this next clip I'm going to show you, I think it's been confirmed that, girl, he is not performing. Well, best friend, I mean, listen, to all my believers out there, girl, I, I, I get it. You're on your pins and needles, honey. But listen, that does not look like a person who is about to hit the stage, girl. He looks so cozy in that seat. So I think it's safe to say that unless there's a harness that's going to carry him from that seat to the stage, I don't think Justin Bieber is going to be hitting the stage. But you never know, girl, because remember in Princess Diaries what they said, miracles happen once in a while when you believe. So listen, best friend, I have to say, you know, J Usher did an amazing performance. He really did. I know that a lot of people were expecting Justin to come out, but, you know, I've been reading a lot of different theories and I want to talk to you guys about him. Listen, first of all, can I just say I've had freaking the Barney theme song stuck in my head all day. Like everywhere I'm washing dishes. I love you. I'm taking the dogs out. You love me. I'm in the shower. We are happy family. Girl, I even did like the rock version. I love you. Like I've been like Barneying all out, bitch. The Barney is Barneying. Anyways, girl, did you guys know I had a crush on Barney? But that's, you know what? That's another story for another day. 
Anyways, so I've been seeing a lot of different, you know, theories as to why Justin wasn't, you know, performing. Now, one theory is that his anxiety was, you know, was not allowing it to happen. Number two is that he didn't want to take attention from Usher. Number three, that he was never invited to perform. And number four, that he backed out last minute. So let's talk about this. Anxiety. Yes, anxiety can really, really cut you from doing the things you love. And this is something I really wanted to say to you guys. You know, in life, yes, we have so many goals. We have so many dreams. We have so many things that we want to accomplish. But anxiety is real. So don't let nobody tell you. I'll just get over it. You got to understand that you are only human and we feel human stuff. We feel human feelings. So I don't want you to be so hard on yourself, okay? I promise you, best friend, that if you acknowledge your anxiety and you want to move forward and you're putting your best foot forward, I know you'll get there. Don't rush it. Give it time and heal, okay? But anyways, so anxiety could have very much, you know, he did cancel his last tour um, due to, you know, health. And I think that maybe hitting the stage in the biggest stage in the whole world would have been very, very, very overwhelming for him, okay? Number two, was that, uh, girl, what was the other theory I saw? Uh, he didn't want to take attention from Usher. Um, listen, Justin Bieber obviously is, you know, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Justin Bieber is, uh, 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 even though Usher has had a very long career and a very successful career, I believe if you compare Justin's fame or career to Usher, you know, Justin is a lot bigger, right? And, and and since he hasn't been on stage in a while, then, you know, people would have been very interested. So I feel like it would have been like Usher's halftime show with Justin Bieber's comeback. You know, it would have been like plastered all over. Like Justin Bieber came back. Justin Bieber hit the stage for the first time in a year. Justin Bieber this, Justin Bieber that. So it could have very well, you know, been that. Now, the other one was that he was never invited. I don't necessarily believe this one because... I feel like Usher really wanted Justin Bieber there just because, you know, their past and everything. And then the last one was that he backed out last minute. So there were rumors that he was invited, that he did allegedly have a dressing room, and that he um, uh, had a band and, 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 and things like that. Like everything was set up. It's just that he didn't uh, rehearse. I don't believe that either, just because Justin's been in the game for a very long time, and I really doubt that he wouldn't prepare for something like this. We saw him prepare for the NHL hockey thingy in, in Ontario, Canada. So if he rehearsed for that, you know, I'm sure he would fucking rehearse for the damn Super Bowl, right? So I don't know, best friend. I feel like the real reason, to be very honest, is I just don't think that he's ready to make that kind of commitment. I think that he definitely enjoys and loves music, but I also really feel like Justin is entering an era in his life where he loves music, but he doesn't love what comes with the music, which is, you know, the press and the paparazzi and the rumors and the fans, you know, uh, you know, getting in, in his privacy, you know, I don't feel like, I just feel like he doesn't like that. I feel like he's having a lot of fun, you know, doing whatever he's doing, ice skating and, 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 you know, being uh, Haley Bieber's, you know, um, test dummy with the road products uh, and, and just kind of, you know, doing music in his own pace. There are rumors that he is coming back, so we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But I really do feel like the real reason is he was not ready. And that's the one of the things that I'm reading the most from a lot of people. A lot of insiders are saying that he was just not ready to do such a big performance on the biggest stage in the world. So what do you guys think was the real reason? I definitely think it was just he was not ready for that. But I'm sure that maybe next year, you never know, he might do it. I do think, you know who should really perform next year? Well, obviously, you know, I have my top three people. I want uh, Selena Gomez to perform. I want Britney Spears to perform. And I want the Spice Girls to perform. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but I really also would enjoy Miley Cyrus. I would enjoy like a medley of different people. I think it would be really cool, like Miley and maybe Ariana and uh, obviously Selena. Um, Taylor Swift should also do the Super Bowl. I mean, it would, I mean, it, there's literally, it's going to happen very soon i'm sure so anyways what do you guys think let me know in the comments and for all my believers out there because i know you guys know i'm a selenator but listen on my channel everyone is welcome as long as we're respectful so i love you all very much thank you for watching make sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah.